It's March, it's 2023. You know what that means. It's new Moonswatch time. Tom, are you excited to go through this whole rigmarole again for another Moonswatch release? Oh, I suppose I am. Well, we're here just mere moments ahead of the first release, waiting to see what this thing looks like. We've got some speculations, Tom. Some people are saying this thing is going to be made out of full moonshine gold. I mean, that's basically the only clue we've got. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? That'd be very typical of the Swiss watch industry, wouldn't it? To release a cheap £200 plastic watch and then later on cover it entirely in gold. <laughs> <laughs> Charge £10,000. Can you imagine if the RRP of this thing is more than an actual moon watch? Yeah, that's what's weird about it. I can't imagine that's what it's going to be. I mean, that goes against everything that the Omega's moon swatch stands for. <laughs> so, Tom, there's a little clue here that the release happens all around the world. Um, full moon in the UK. I don't know if it's a full moon everywhere else. I don't know if that's how the moon works. I'm not really sure. Oh, right. But it's definitely a full moon in the UK today. Okay. And it's being released in Japan. It's being released in Switzerland. It's being released in Italy and in England. But very, very specifically in the financial districts. Only on the 7th of March, which is today. And only for one day. So... I mean, we're mere minutes away from actually seeing this thing pop up. I mean, even less than a minute now. And we're waiting to see what it actually is. I'm hoping it's not really, really disappointing because my understanding is there are already queues of people outside the stores. Even the Royal Exchange in London, where it's going to be released in about nine hours. Yeah. So one of the interesting things is that they have gone for gold, uh, Moonshine Gold, which is their yellow gold blend to make it paler and a bit more interesting and different. They've also got that Sedna Gold for rose gold, and they've got the Canopus Gold for white gold. But yellow gold, as we've seen from the Cartier Tank Francais release recently, is the metal du, du jour. What's the, what's the French for year? Du year. Um, so it's, it seems appropriate that the Moon Swatch is getting some kind of yellow gold, but I really don't understand how yellow gold and Moon Swatch plastic mix together. Can you imagine if it's gold plastic, like a, a McDonald's toy? Yeah, what that would like eventually flake off. Yeah, it's been very strange. I mean, because bioceramic, that's the, that's the whole thing about it, isn't it? The uh, cleverly repurposed plastic material that the case is made out of. They're not going to dip that in Omega's gold, are they? That seems a bit weird. <laughs> well, we are 10 seconds merely away from this thing if the first one comes out at 9.30 a.m. UK time. So I am frantically refreshing on the Swatch account on Instagram. Tom, I hope you're doing the same in case you've got better signal than I do. What's, what's the opposite of impending excitement? I think in, in, impending disappointment yes, is where I'm at. Exactly, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Here it is, Tom. The new moon swatch for 2023. Oh, it's disappointing. <laughs> it is the Omega Moon, Mission to Moon moon swatch, as we all know and love, but with a chronograph seconds hand made of moonshine gold. Right. Soon to be seen on AliExpress in about five minutes. So it comes in a box with some gold decoration, plus a certificate, a full moon production certificate. It says, the Omega Moonshine gold second hand featured in the bioceramic moon swatch Mission to the Moon was born during the full moon night of February 2023. Sounds a bit mystical. Swatch goes on to say, it is not limited and not available online. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> the mission to the moon with a special seconds hand is not going to replace the mission to the moon. Okay. It, that's funny, isn't it? Omega and Swatch doing something different, disrupting the industry, and now it's got a new hat. If that doesn't just <laughs> fall in line with everything else that the watch industry is doing, I don't know what else does. So, yeah, good on you, yeah. Swatch. <laughs> <laughs> From disruption to full corporate compliance. Yeah. <laughs> i tell you what, though. I had fun seeing the reveal. I had fun speculating. And I'm having fun talking about it with you. And what more can there possibly be than the free element of fun? Yes, I suppose you're right. 
I've said this before, Tom, I'm a fun kind of guy, and I'm having fun with this. Dear viewer and listener, are you having fun with this? What do you think of the new Moonshine Moonwatch? Are you going to try and get one? Do you think it's cool and interesting and a nice little tidbit of rarity on top of an already hard to get watch? Or do you think it's a pile of old moon swatch? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for listening and good luck. Bye bye.